For me, golf is a very natural game, and I've always hit the ball pretty well and straight, and I'm the best putter. After Trump's round at its course just outside Philadelphia, it was time to put his swing under the microscope. For that, one of the world's top instructors, Hank Haney, gives his perspective on how Trump's game stacks up. I've seen him play before. I knew he was a good player. You know, he can hit the ball. He's got a lot of club at speed. Anybody that has club at speed has potential in golf. I have a lot of respect for Hank Haney, but to be honest with you, I'm more of a believer in ability than I am in instruction. The athletic ability makes it a lot easier, but you know, I, there's, not, there's not too many just natural golfers. I mean, matter of fact, when I when I see one, it'll be the first one I've ever seen. Right, right when it takes the club back. He takes the club back kind of low and to the inside here, and his shoulders turn real level. They turn too level. You know, ideally, you want your shoulders to turn on their axis. Right now, Donald's shoulders are just about parallel to the ground. His left shoulder should be a little lower, his right shoulder a little higher. So he's got the club too far inside, technically, going back, and then he has to make a correction. And the correction starts right here, so he corrects it, puts the club back on the plane that it's supposed to be on, and then clears his hips through and gets to a really, really good impact position. For me, the golf swing is clearing the hips, getting them out of the way, and letting the club swing through. And I read that years ago in the very famous book by Ben Hogan. Ben Hogan's book, The you know, Five Lessons of Modern Fundamentals of Golf, is you know, considered to be the, the greatest golf instructional book that's ever been written. So he got some good advice from that book, for sure. One strong point of his swing is the way he really extends his arms and club through the ball. And that enables him to get the bottom of the swing in the right place and to get, you know, a good amount of power. The more clearing I do, the straighter I hit the ball. You would think that you don't want to move so much, but that's the secret to my game. When you take it as far inside as he does, you need to, that needs to be the key to your game. <laughs> Ironically, the one criticism that Trump has received regarding his game is in the area where he feels he excels. Somebody said, I have an unusual putting stroke. I said, I don't want to think about it. They even asked me what I'm doing. I said, do me a favor, don't even talk about it. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to ask, I don't want to tell. Agreeing. Coincidentally, Hank Haney agrees. He really hits a lot with his right hand. He's got a little extra movement in his putting stroke, but obviously, you know, he, he has a good feel. He has a good ability to read the greens and he can get the ball started online. I don't know if his stroke is what you would try and teach somebody. But you know what? As long as they go in, that's all that matters. And what matters back at Trump National Philadelphia is that the boss was more than happy with his round and his course. And when Trump's happy, everybody wins, including his greenskeepers. This place is in such great shape. I want a $500 bonus. And also Jeremy, he's done a great job, right? Give him a 500 and a 500 for me. I gave a thousand last time. What is, he likes to see me, I think. He likes to see Trump. I shot 72 today. Nice, nice. With that final piece of business done, Trump was ready to head back to New York, but not before a surprise for guests of the wedding taking place at the club. Uh,